new Azimut S8, uh, one of the newest uh, models in the Azimut range in the last season. This is one of a pair of S8s that arrived here in Hong Kong uh, just uh, two weeks ago. I think they're the only two in Asia right now. The S8 is part of uh, the S range for the S collection from Azimut Yachts, which is a four model range, which goes the S6, 7, 8 and the S10, just under 100 feet. They're very uh, focused design and have a very different use of space and layout to the more traditional flybridge yachts. They're tripled engined and that creates better performance yacht. Uh, and the way the engines are installed, it also creates some practicalities which enables a boat like this one to even have a, a two tender garage. So this boat can carry a full jet rib and a full jet ski uh, inside the tender garage, which is a big advantage on an 80 foot yacht. The S range is much less popular, to be frank here in Asia anyway, due to the climate and the requirement for air conditioning being greater than the typical Americas or the European market, the more popular flybridge yachts, which have a larger interior and a smaller exterior, tend to be more popular. So the S range, to be fair, historically has been, uh, hasn't sold as well as the flybridge collection. And I think that's an interesting development that we've sold these two SAs recently. With the, the new use of space, the way the, uh, the cockpit space flows into the interior, the larger cockpit, all of a sudden the S range um, starts to make a, a very viable uh, alternative to the flybridge yachts. For this market, the ability to carry two tenders out of sight is really nice. Once you get to a sports yacht that's 70, 80 foot, you can still, uh, much as this one does, have a, a very large flybridge. Flybridge is still important to people for when you're traveling along. It's the nice place to spend the time, wind in the hair boating, which is obviously what we all like. But then at rest, the S8 still has, a, as you can see, a very large, beautifully appointed saloon. And then it has typically double the uh, entertaining space outdoors that a flybridge yacht would. And people are starting to see the benefits of that. So I think the S range would be more and more popular in the, the seasons that come. And for this yacht, he had a, a very specific design for a blue interior, which he actually, whilst blue is very traditional in yachting for years gone by, it's actually much less common these days. So this boat has blue sofas and a blue, uh, blue grey um, carpet, etc. And but the biggest change he made was for a custom hardtop on the flybridge. Um, he has another Azimut yacht which has a hardtop, and he really enjoys that facility. And so this boat had a one-off custom hardtop made for it, uh, which looks fantastic. So um, he's very happy with that. I don't think it's changed dramatically. I think most of the customers shopping for top quality European yachts want top quality European yachts. Early on, uh, 10, 15 years ago, as the Asian market was warming up, you would see a, a requirement for more Asian style interiors. And, but that really now, we very, very rarely now get asked to change the interiors. They might choose the colors or maybe the shape of the sofas, etc. But in real terms, they actually, they're buying into that heritage, it's Italian design, Italian designers, and uh, I think that's one of the reasons people come to us. It's an unexpected uh, plus side to the, the current COVID situation. Hong Kong is the most mature market in Asia. Since the beginning of the season, March, April, when customers realized they were probably going to be staying here in Hong Kong, the interest in boating grew massively. And certainly Azimut have been one of the biggest benefactors of that here. But it is a localized bonus, to be frank. We're also the Azimut Yacht dealer for Southern China, uh, Taiwan and Singapore. And those markets have all but stalled in that same period. And that's not due to demand. It's due to the import restrictions and delivery requirements that COVID prevented some of the deliveries. I.e. you can't have a delivery crew come and pick up a boat from Taiwan. So the Taiwan customers didn't want to order boats. Some of the importation was stopped in Singapore. So it's not necessarily a sign that there's no demand in those markets. It's just that practicalities have dictated that it really wasn't so easy to do. Whereas Hong Kong, the boats come in direct on the container ships or specialized ships straight into Hong Kong, and we can hand them over a week later. And that has meant that people have been able to get boating very quickly. The other benefit before for our clients is Azimut Yachts being one of the largest producers um, have very good production availability so it was quite possible for clients to order us order new boats for us from March and April and have them on the water here in Hong Kong for June and July so they were in, able to enjoy the whole season on a brand new Azimut Yacht. I think the if I can refer to it as a trapped market is a is a one-off period I mean we don't know what's going to happen next year you know uh, hopefully things will be uh, much easier but I think what it has what it has created is a whole batch of new clients that maybe were on the fence before. Do I need a yacht? Should I own a yacht? Now they've bought a yacht and with their families they're enjoying it. And I think that will spur 
secondary purchases and the, the new friends that they will bring into the industry, they will be using their yacht and now more people will discover it. So I think it's going to produce all, a whole new batch of clients. The more experienced clients that may have chosen to upgrade their older yacht or go from a small yacht to a larger yacht because they're using it more is a drift that happens pretty much every season. We always get people upgrading or up updating. But I think this has brought in a whole raft of new clients, which is fantastic for the business. Great. Paul, thank you very much. Pleasure.